when I was uh, teaching at a state school, uh, state college in North Carolina, one of the distinguished professors at Duke asked me if it was true that I was opposed to segregation. I said, yes. He said, but I don't understand how you would be opposed, because if you're successful in opposing segregation, that means that your school will close and you won't have a job. That always enters into the minds of people who have this view that there's nothing good in the black community and everything is good in the white community. And uh, as long as you have that kind of evil, disjointed, distorted view of life, where all the good is on one side and all the evil is on another, then you can't have a healthy integration. Ironically, Greenwood, which had been built in the face of racial hatred, which had survived total destruction, would not survive integration. With the onset of integration, many of the uh, kids of, of the owners, of business people, left Tulsa, uh, went in, going to Chicago, California, New York, Denver, in search of their own uh, new life, a new life altogether. I think we began to drive around the Greenwood area and go straight into South Tulsa for it. So I can remember there were long periods of time that I didn't go into Greenwood area at all because I can remember how surprised I was at how much it had deteriorated when I began working again in the Greenwood area. And you see the businesses uh, deteriorating uh, because uh, we were not supporting the businesses. And then the older folks were giving it up, you know, and are, are they were shifting to, to other uh, parts of, of the city. The integration helped to kill Greenwood. And of course, uh, the, when they began to redesign the, uh, the uh, expressways, like they do most of the time in these cities throughout the United States. They always engineer it in such a way that the expressways come across the, the main section of the black community. The same thing happened to Tulsa, the Tulsa black community, that happened to the Nashville, Tennessee black community, that happened to the Raleigh, uh, Durham, North Carolina black community, that happened to the New Orleans, Louisiana black community, here come the interstates roaring right through the black community and playing, wreaking havoc with them, destroying the streets, destroying the, uh, the, 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 the business establishments, and they never fully recovered. They never fully recovered.